amidst the vastness of the cosmos. It's impossible not to marvel at the beauty and diversity of our home, Earth. Its landscapes and the life it cradles are nothing short of a masterpiece. Crafted by nature itself. Yet, there's a concern that tugs at the corners of our consciousness. The concern that weighs heavy on our hearts. And, as I explain this story to you, it becomes all the more crucial. Welcome to Narrative Neek. You see, in 2009, scientists drew up a set of rules. Like guidelines for our planet. These rules were meant to keep us from causing too much harm. Like polluting too much or cutting down too many forests. Think of them as boundaries we shouldn't cross. Guardrails to keep us on a safe path. But here's the troubling part. Instead of making things better, we seem to be making them worse. These rules were designed to be cautious. Giving us time to fix things before they get really bad. Catherine Richardson, a professor at the University of Copenhagen, and one of the authors of the report, explained this. But despite the warnings and guidelines, our actions are pushing the Earth beyond what scientists call the safe operating space for humanity. Imagine Earth as a patient with very high blood pressure. It doesn't necessarily mean a heart attack is imminent, but it certainly raises the risk. And that's a cause for concern. Of the nine rules, only three are still okay, but two of them, Ocean acidification and the amount of tiny particles. Cold aerosols in the air are getting worse. But here's a glimmer of hope. Remember when we had a problem with the ozone layer in the 1990s? Well, countries work together to stop using harmful chemicals. And the ozone layer is slowly getting better. Now, let's talk about Professor Johan Rockström, one of the creators of these rules. He's worried. He's concerned that our planet is losing its ability to handle problems. Sure, we've all noticed the extreme weather events happening everywhere. And that's worrying. But what's even scarier is the thought that Earth might not be strong enough to handle them. Professor Rockström now works in Germany. And he's concerned that this could make it really hard to keep the planet from getting too hot. Even if we try our best. It might also bring us closer to very bad situations. Where things could go really wrong. And guess what? Other scientists have warned about this too. In a recent report based on 2000 studies, it was revealed that we've crossed many of these critical boundaries a long time ago. For instance, the boundary for keeping our ecosystems healthy was broken in the late 19th century because we've been harming nature so much, which has led to a decline in wildlife. We've also crossed the boundary for land use because we've been cutting down forests and altering landscapes extensively throughout the last century. Climate change is another problem. Climate models suggest we went beyond the safe limit back in the late 1980s. And when it comes to freshwater, which includes water in lakes, rivers, and soil, we surpassed this limit in the early 20th century. There's another limit we should talk about. The amount of nitrogen and phosphorus in our environment. These elements are vital for life. But we've been using too many fertilizers, causing heavy pollution in our waters. This pollution can lead to problems like excessive algae growth and dead zones in the ocean. Shockingly, according to data from the UN Food and Agriculture Organization, we're adding three times more nitrogen to our fields each year than what's considered safe. Synthetic pollution, including pesticides, plastics, and nuclear waste, has also gone beyond the limit. As shown in a study from 2022. In this report, led by Catherine Richardson, they looked at air pollution for the first time. This pollution affects plant growth and the monsoon rains. They discovered that air pollution has already gone beyond the safe limit in some regions, like South Asia and China, although it hasn't done so globally. Furthermore, ocean acidification is worsening and approaching the point where it might exceed the safe limit. Scientists have made it clear that we've exceeded the safe limits in six out of the nine rules they set up, which means our planet is now way outside the safe zone for humanity. Simon Lewis, the professor at University College London, described this report as a strikingly grim update to an already concerning situation. He's deeply worried about how we're affecting biodiversity 
altering the climate and polluting the environment to such an extent that Earth's natural systems are no longer stable enough to support human societies. It's an unmistakable warning. So, here we are, you and I, standing at a critical crossroads, facing a future that hinges on our choices and actions. I cannot help but feel an overwhelming sense of apprehension. Not just for our generation but for the generations to come. It's alarming because the very boundaries that we identified as being crossed back in 2015 are not showing any signs of improvement. Instead, they're deteriorating further. And that's what scares me the most. We're not doing enough to address these critical issues. And as a result, the situation is getting progressively worse. Which could have serious consequences for our planet and the future of our children and grandchildren. It's crucial that we take immediate and concerted action to reverse these trends and protect the Earth for future generations.